Yeah, you see how long this video is. We're gonna do a lot of exploring of this area. But first... You finally arrived, Jedi. I seek to reclaim the honor that you stole. I challenge you here, outside of the battle circle. This time, we fight to the death. I was too young to fight in the Mandalorian Wars. With our clan scattered, there was no opportunity to prove myself. Years ago, young Mandalorians would fly point in a basilisk, laying waste to anything before them, at the forefront of battle. But this has been denied. What little honor I have earned, you stripped from me in the battle circle. This I won't allow. You would deny my request? I want to fight here, in front of other Mandalorians, to prove my worth. Do not shame me further. There were no wars to fight, no great enemies to destroy. I wish this was a different age, where our armadas were a force to be feared. Now you face a true Mandalorian on the field of battle. Yeah, now you face a guy who beat you with his bare hands easily with his two friends and his lightsaber and his force powers. You... not playing with the full deck there, are you, Davril? Yeah, that was easy. That was easier than beating you by myself. Well, of course it was. You're, you're, you're stupid, Davril. You're not a smart person, and now you're dead. So there's a bunch of paths we can go. It may look like there's just three, but there's actually like a dozen or two, or a hundred, or something. There, there's a lot of places you can go. And a lot of stuff you can do. There's no real order to do it in, there's just... you know, doing stuff. Also, there's lots of Malras, and Canucks and... some real Bomas, not just young Bomas. And that Zakeg that we heard about. Might just run into that. We're totally going to, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> Also, you really want to make sure you're cycling through your targets by holding L and R or um, Q and E for me, because you want to find Canock remains, because they did eat the pulse space converter. We're gonna have to gut them open and you know dig around inside of them and find it. Sounds like fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. I wish there was a cutscene like that or something, like Snake Eater just cutting it open and just. <laughs> oh, that'd be horrible. But hey, you guys leveled up. That should be fun for you. There you go, Visas has Master Weapon Fighting, and now she also has Force Wave, which I should probably mention, I got asked about this. I was going to use Whirlwind a lot. Force Wave is the upgraded version of Whirlwind. I think I said that in the video where I said I was going to use Whirlwind. So you don't have Whirlwind anymore. I know it's sad, we could have made some Malras spin around, or <laughs> a young Boma. But hey, Force Wave is way better. Like, way better. It's like a giant explosion of awesome. Prepare yourself. Yeah, prepare yourself. You're gonna fight Handmaiden with her stick. Get ready for the stick of justice. Oh, you guys and your battle taunts. I wish my character had battle taunts. Because you used to have battle taunts in the first game. You'd say really lame little stuff with like Reno Romano. And that was awesome, but now it's just, yeah. You know, Once we found a weapon. There it is, a combat enforcer. It's a pretty good repeater. Uh, you know. Look at it, it's great. Look at it, it's awesome! No one can use it here, though, so we're just gonna ignore it. Maybe we'll have someone who can use it. Yeah, I don't know, uh, maybe. You never know with this crazy RPG we're playing here. So hey, here's some Canox. Maybe they'll have part of the face posting converter. Gee, I wonder, hmm. I wonder how many parts there are, too. Hmm. I mean, it'd be too easy if it was just one, you know, you just found it, like, hey, here it is. That'd be way too easy, right? Uh, this is an RPG, it has to be somewhat tedious and take a while, right? Yep. Hey, look, remains, I wonder. Look at that. The assembly. Well, let's see what we got here. Looks like we only found a part of it. Gee, I wonder if there's three pieces of it, like, you know, any video game ever made. 
yeah, there are three pieces, and we're gonna find the other two. They're around here. Thankfully, there's not like hundreds of Canox to kill, but still, there's a, they're kind of spread out. And there's the Zack Egg. <laughs> I'm gonna save. Because the Zack Egg is actually kind of tough. It's not like this ridiculously overpowered beast, because we're kind of. Well, I'm kind of a ridiculously overpowered beast. So, you, you know, it's not an impossible fight, but it is going to be kind of tough. I don't think Stasis Field's going to work. Nope. So the first thing you want to try to do is anybody who can, like, drop this thing's stats at least a little or stun it or something, it, it's worth trying. Also, it can heal itself a little, I think. That was its green, right? Or is that Vesis' green? I don't know whose green that is. Whose green is that? Uh, it's probably his. I'm pretty sure he can heal. I see we're beating him pretty good here, but he has almost killed Handmaiden. Now that's... Yeah, that was a good fight, but he almost killed Handmaiden. Look at that. Got her to like two-thirds of her health. That's impressive. I mean, Handmaiden has a lot of health. So you gotta check its remains and get its ear. Again, why? Come on. Should be a cutscene to be like slicing its ear off, holding it up and laughing maniacally or something. So that completes that. You can totally prove to that guy that we killed the Zack Egg. Or is a keg, or however you pronounce its name. Yeah, it, I guess it could be harder if you came to Onderon first. Like if you didn't go somewhere else first, and where me you weren't a prestige class, but it's not too bad if you are. Hey, green crystal. Totally gonna get to the Visus. We get back to the Oh uh, don't 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 tease me, Bomo. Don't do that. Don't have an icon when you don't have a drop. It's not it's not nice. <laughs> Also, yes, we're going to be speeding through a lot of the backtracking, because there is some light backtracking. Not not too much, but enough that I want to speed it through. Hey, where's Visus? Really, where's... where... I don't... Uh, who cares? Who cares? You don't need Visus to... Yeah, I need Visus. She's good. Let us test ourselves. It's a Canuck. It's not a test. It's... It's not a test, and if it is a test, it's a test that you have all the answers to, Handmaiden. Okay, it's... The Zack Egg was a test. This is... Barely even a quiz. What kind of test would the Malaraz be? Like, multiple choice with only one answer and it's right? I shall honor them. Handmaiden! They're, like, cat, tiger, goat things. It's not honorable combat. Why, why didn't you say this stuff when we were fighting the Zack Egg? That was an honorable fight. That thing was a huge monster. Handmaiden, you're weird. You, you are weird. You're a weird person. You make no sense to me. Hey, there's a guy up there. I wonder who that could be. I am in need of your assistance. I'm Kumis. Zargo is not wrong in thinking me dead. We assume that any Mandalorian who does not report back within a day has been taken by the jungle. I still live. I'm just in a difficult situation. A patrol was sent to look for weapon caches in this region. They found three sites that looked promising. Zarka told me to prove myself by taking explosives to those sites and uncovering the caches, if they exist. This was the first site. After easily dispatching some Maras, I removed my pack and began to plant my charges along this ridge. When I finished setting the charges, I looked down to see Canucks swimming all over my pack. The pests were eating everything. I killed the Canucks, but then a herd of Bomas arrived. I had no more ammo. The extra energy cells I had brought had been in my pack, so I've been up here, weaponless for two days. Guns run out of ammo in this game? What? What? Must have cleared a path to the beast coming here. If you take care of the Boma beast, I can make it to safety. Your actions are worthy of a Mandalorian. Return here when you have slain the beast and I will be able to return to camp. Guns don't run out of ammo. What game are you playing? This isn't like... Republic Commando or something where the guns actually are realistic and run out of ammo. This is Star Wars. I mean, I guess there's a battery or something, but you never have to change it. Dude, how do you run out of ammo in a game that doesn't let you run out of ammo? That is, like, awful. You're the worst. You're the worst, Kumis.
So he's got to kill some Bomas. Not that bad. Also, there's a big permacrete detonator we could blow up. But that would kill him. And I'm light side, so we're not going to kill him. So let's go uh, tell him what happened by talking to this rock. I'm grateful for your help, stranger. I'm returning to the Mandalorian camp now. I won't forget this. I have only one request. Please, don't mention this incident to anyone. Oh, sorry. I already put it up on my Twitter. Sorry, I, I didn't you know. Yeah, Jedi Twitter. So I like explosions. Let's blow this stuff up. Because explosions are cool, you know? Well, that was fun. Yes. And now, backtracking. You see, why should I buy force speed when I can just use editing? Huh? It's just like force speed. Yeah. formed, basic instincts, urges, dominated by every breath and every moment, primal and unsophisticated. Good. Beasts can be easier to affect than other sentients, but you must bridge the gap between what distinguishes us and them. You feel its consciousness, yes, like a low rumble before the storm. Use the force to create a barrier around it. Make it with care and subtlety. You came close, and you have potential. With practice, you can make any animal possible. But the cage around their perceptions is a fragile thing. Many things can break its hold. Violence especially. The force is subtle and more powerful than people imagine. Keep an open mind. We now have Beast Trick. Its power sucks. Really it does. It basically will stun animals so that you can, like, sneak by them. But why would you ever do that? It's... It wears off kind of quick. And, and honestly, it's like... You don't need to do it, because you can just kill it. I mean, if you're trying to be sneaky or something, I, I don't know why you'd play the game like that, but hey. I, 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 I guess if you're... Like, if it's a really tough boss or something, but even then... Also, I'm now going to get the improved versions of the attacks. I'm going to start with Flurry. Also, I have Wound. It's good power. It wounds things. I never would've told. Hey look, another part of the Phase Pulse Converter. Well, it's two down, one to go. Also, more backtracking. Yay. I don't know, Beast Trick is really bad. I mean, if it was like... If it was, like, Mind Trick, which is a power that's in this game that will let you, like, trick enemies to be on your side, it'd be more useful, but it, it sucks, because you, like... Eh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, as I was saying, I guess you could use it on, like, a tough boss match, like the Zakeg or something, but even then, it's like, why would you want to sneak past that? Or anything, because you actually do become really powerful in this game and can kind of just kill anything. Especially in the later parts of it, you become, like, a... just... Monster. You are no match for us. You got that right, Visas. Actually, I think they're no match for me and Handmaiden. You, they could probably kill you if they really tried, because you, you don't have a lot of health, Visas. You really can't make that taunt if you're by yourself. But you're not. You're with us, so you know you can make it. You guys want to help out at all? You're just gonna turn invisible? Yeah, I can see how Mandalorians are brave warriors that, you know, hide from Malras. Oh, oh no, Malras. Hide from the scary, weak cat things. Uh, it's another cannon drop, but it wasn't a phase pulse converter part. Oh, well. 
The third one's over here in this area somewhere. We'll find it eventually. Also, there's another thing we can do over here. I don't remember if it's right up here. No, I don't think it's up here. It's a bit lower on the map. Well, we're going to loop around to it eventually, though. You see how big this map is? It's huge. You've only seen about half of it. Yeah, it's a uh, lot. Prepare yourself. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the face and the cast, and they're dead. It's hilarious. I love killing animals. Murder them all! Okay. Um. Hey, look, it's that cache that Mandalore wanted us to find. Yeah, this one, see? You see? There you go. Let's blow it up. The jungle is a living thing. That detonation will have repercussions. Yeah, if you do that, a bunch of stuff comes up to kill you. Well, it comes up to try, I should say. We get some more young Bomas, and also some real Bomas that are actually, uh... bigger and tougher, like that other one that we fought. Yep, like that guy! I guess we're just talking about Bomas. They're... pretty easy, I mean, you know, they... I don't know, they're not that bad. Nothing really is that bad anymore, though, so, hey. You are no match for us. Yeah, they still aren't a match for us, Visas. You got that right. Test Easy experience. Works for me. Oh, secure each other. You're not a Canuck. Why did you have that? That's just silly. Other animals shouldn't have things, right? That doesn't make sense for... Uh, so here's the cache, and there's a bunch of really good mines in it, like that deadly plasma mine. None of us have demolitions, but I can't even target it to blow it up. Well, I shouldn't blow it up. It's a good mine, I want it. How may I serve? Uh, well, we need a demolitions expert here. That's none of you guys, so we should probably grab T3. And I really do mean that. You, you, really, you really do want to grab, like, T3 or someone who's good at demolitions. And or security. Oh, his skill is too low. What if he levels up and his skill becomes 16? Now it's not too low. Let's do this. Let's go inside. Yikes! That's a lot of really powerful explosives. So there's a couple ways you can do this place. The way I like to do it is the way that actually lets us get these bombs, because these are some of the... these are deadly and just devastating, and these are some really good mines, so it's a... it'd be a shame to just blow them all up. Which you can do. There's a bunch of these droids everywhere. You can activate that big one. And have him... Whoa, where am I? Oh god. Don't move people around in this room, game. It's not nice. Yeah, you can make the droids run into the mines and then blow them all up, but that's just... not nearly as fun as, like, destroy droiding them. Which is just hilariously awesome. And if you haven't done Ar Shaddai yet, you might want to grab some mines. I'm just, I'm just gonna say that. I'm just going to point this, throw that out there. You might want to have a pretty decent amount of explosives before you go to Narshida. Just for a thing. No, these droids are blocking us. We can't get to these boxes. Well, I guess we better do something about these droids. They're everywhere. Look at all these construction droids. So here's what we can do. You can mess around with the droid a bit. You can just, you know, try to fix it up. But now nah, let's just kick it. Oh no, they'll turn on. This should be fast. Because I got this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, look at this. Yeah, the only droid here that's actually uh, gives you any trouble is the big one. The other ones are just... They're just destroyed droid fodder. Look at them. No, don't attack it. Use destroy droid. No, you silly Jedi. Use destroy droid. It is the funniest power. Also, these droids have a lot of arms. As you can see, that guy has a bunch of arms. And now he's dead. <laughs> Funny. So, hey. 
Key 3 needs to just open all this stuff up because there's a lot of great stuff in this cache. See, that, that's, good, that, that's great stuff, right? That's That, that qualifies as great stuff. Yeah, it's totally great stuff. Alright, the immunity belt. I love this thing. The immunity belt is an awesome item. You usually get it on a playthrough. As you see, it makes you immune to stuff. Gives you some more constitution. But it kind of hurts your attack modifier a little bit. A very little bit, so it's totally worthwhile. It's a great item for you. Yep. Getting some loot. Because that's what we're all about. We're all about the loot. Hey, electric uh, shielding belt. It's good when you fight Dark Jedi. Because, you know, they use force lightning and whatnot. So, we gotta blow this one up. That's way too good of a mine to use on this box, but hey. Okay, this cave has moderately good loot. Uh, is that all the boxes? Can we get out of here now? This place must smell bad, because we totally blew up like a bunch of droids in here. Must smell like burnt metal and, uh... Hmm. Oh, wait a minute now. I missed one. Oh no! T3, we need your help. Why are some of these impossible? I don't understand that. Making me use my really good mines that I just got. Hey, the Airtech Iron Master. It's great for shooting droids. As most ion weapons are. Yeah, you know that thing that droids are weak to? Guns that shoot that thing are good against them. That's that's incredible, right? Pearl of wisdom there. Yeah, whatever, let's get out of here. Because guess what we're gonna do when we leave? Backtrack a bit. Yeah. Hey, another Canog! Wonder if we're finally gonna get that last part of the face pulse converter that we need. Oh, I wonder. When this fight's over in three seconds, will we get that part? Will we ever hold a me in suspense here? I shall honor them. God, Visa's flurry is really glitched right now. She has master flurry and she keeps randomly doing the improved flurry aura. Really worries me. There we go. There it is. We got it all, and uh, if we never look at the insides of a Canuck again, it'll be too soon. That's funny. It's hilarious. You're, you're a funny guy, Jedi. Your little live journal entries are hilarious, so let's go over here. Because there's one... Yeah, there's one more thing that we can do. And then we're done with this place, so we're going to go back to the camp and... Uh, Progress. Hey, there's some skeletons over here. Also, there's no people over here. Huh. There's no, like, people anywhere over here at all. Of any kind. I'm just pointing that out, you know. Strolling along through the jungle here. Hey, look, a Mandalorian. With a name. It means he's important. What are you doing out here? It's dangerous for your kind. Mandalore sent me out here personally to track a ship that landed in the area. No, it wasn't them. That ship was damaged and screaming its ID signature all the way down. This one was trying to slip in quietly, and it was keeping its eye on emissions to a minimum. Our sensors almost didn't pick it up. Just this corpse here. Looks like a scout. Pretty green, too. The fool walked right into a group of Canucks and got torn apart. He can't have been the only one crawling around here. If there's more, we need to take them out. You up for some action? We can't let them find the camp. 
If that's what they're looking for. We need to track them down and make sure their trip here is real short. There's more of these scouts in the jungle. There's many paths and I don't want them to slip by. If we split up, we should be able to find their scouts. If you're up for it. I'm going to take up a position to the east. You go west. I'll make sure none of them get past me. Yep, yeah, we're gonna help out Kelborn. You don't know this now, but he's actually it's actually related to the battle circle, so. Yeah, that guy must have been really green. He got killed by a cat. Oh god. Must have been level one or something. Jeez. Hey, Kilborn, are you gonna help me out with these Canucks at all, man? We're kind of working together on this thing. You think you're gonna, you're gonna like shoot it, Sh shoot it? You're gonna shoot this one? You're gonna shoot that one over there? You're just gonna stand there and be useless, despite the fact that you're one of the best fighters in the in the battle circle? You're just gonna stand there? Uh -huh, thanks, 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 Kilborn. Really big help, Kilborn. You're a fantastic partner. That thing's face is getting choked. Uh, Canucks are weird. So we gotta go west. Yep. I totally didn't go the wrong way and edit it out there. I don't know why you heard that. So we head this way and eventually, you know, we might see people or something. You know, I, I've heard we'll, we'll see scouts from some kind of cutscene or something. Nah, Staging camp up here. This jungle just never ends. Lieutenant, two of our scout patrols haven't reported back. Do more. Nothing is worth this. More beasts! Everyone, attack! Yep, here they are. And we're gonna be real nice and just like stroll up to them while they're fighting stuff and hit them from behind. Because we are fair fighters. We are the fairest fighters you've ever met. We are just so fair. And amazingly fair, and just fair. And I love Force Lightning so much. <laughs> yeah, this is a these these scouts are pretty terrible. Hey, those were twins. Only those were rare. Yeah, that's how real life works, right? You see twins like every. You know, I see like sets of twins all over the place. Just walking down the street, just you know. Four or five sets of twins and packs out, I and mean, it's weird. Just like this game, so yeah, that's a few scouts dead. We had this armor that they had. It's just, uh, it's good. You know what? Think Handmaiden's dexterity falls into that? Yep, it does. So, Handmaiden, you just got some purple armor. Yeah, we're gonna give her that flex heavy armor. It'd be pretty good for her. But for now, we're gonna give her this verpine mesh. Because, you know, she can totally wear it. There you go. It almost looks like Davik's armor. Almost. So, yeah, there's a few more scouts that we can take out down here. Way out there, beyond the fog. You know, the draw distance, yeah. They're, they're past that. What happened to Lon? He got swarmed by those little beasts. I think they're called Canucks. I hope this mission is worth it to the colonel. If not, wait, did you hear that? That's him! Get him! Oh no! Two people! This is gonna be hard. Yeah, uh, these, um, these scouts are pretty impressive, right? Yeah, they're, they're pretty awful, god. But apparently they were sent by some kind of a colonel, and they were looking for me. Huh, uh, there wasn't a cutscene a couple videos ago or anything that completely said that he was sending up a team, right? Yeah, that's... Our good buddy, Colonel Tobin. Can't wait to meet him in person. Mm -mm -mm. So, hey look, Kelborn killed two people by just standing there. That's pretty impressive. Oh, three people! Wow, that's impressive, Kelborn. Very... Yeah. I found more of their scouts, but they started shooting as soon as they saw me. I heard blaster rifle fire coming from deeper in the jungle. You find anything? Surprised they wouldn't talk to you. I thought their grudge was only with Mandalorians. Find out anything useful from them? Colonel, huh? Could be Colonel Tobin. Tobin.
Corbin is General Vaklu's personal cat hound. If he's on your trail, you might want to steer clear of Onderon. Hmm. I'm not surprised. He was probably acting on orders from Vaklu. If so, you've made some dangerous enemies. General Vaklu is the cousin of Queen Talia. He's also in charge of the Onderon military. He led the Onderon resistance when we occupied their world during the Mandalorian Wars. He was a worthy foe. Maybe more than a match for you. Mandalore needs to know about the scouts. I'll let him know your role in dealing with them. One last thing about the battle circle. Your actions have proven you worthy of facing our best in the circle. Perhaps we can face each other there. See you at camp. Yeah, like I said, it's things to do with the battle circle. If you don't do this quest and you can't actually finish the battle circle, but we did it. And look at all, look at look at this map. This is a big map. We totally completed it. Did all the stuff we were supposed to do. So we can totally go back to the camp. And I will meet you guys there. Because that's about it. We've got, that's about all we got for this video, because it's way too long already. So I'll see you guys next time. Take care.